And now, weighing in out of the blue corner, Josh the Pong Thompson. 100% agree. And on the other mic, he weighs in from the red corner, Big John McCarthy. All right, we are lucky enough to have one of the welterweight best in the world, a guy who is on his way to the championship. Sean Brady, you just had a fantastic fight against Gilbert Burns. You got the win, but we want to ask you about El Noche. What do you think about the we'll say let's go with let's go with the main event. We got Sean O'Malley, Sugar Sean against Marab Delishavili. Uh, it's I said, tough, I said yeah. that better than Chael Sonnen. Too. No, that's, no, that's, not not very much. Chael is bad. <laughs> Chael is bad. <laughs> Chael is very. I I think he does it on. He has to be doing it on. No, he does not. No, he does not. No, he no, just really no, doesn't know not. people's names. He doesn't no, know. It's horrible. It's like I'm not the best with names, but my man is out here butchering people's names. Bro, <laughs> bro, here, here. This is this is literally it right here. Hold on. Let me get let me get out of this real quick. But this is the funniest. Rob Dallas really. Yeah, is that he, how he said it? Bad. He's the whole. Dallas, he's hilarious. How did he say it? I can't even remember. Yeah, he he's he crushes it I every think he single said Dallas time. Really. Yeah, he crushes it every time. He'll say it. Work rate of Marab is to decrease. If we don't see those two hundred shots you were talking about earlier, it's going to be a big problem for Diesel Avili. Diesel Avili. Diesel. That's yeah. That's. That's bad. No. But I, I don't I don't know. Like <laughs> DC didn't know what to do. He's like just shut up, he's like, like, wait, wait, what did wait, you just you, call? So, him? so my uh my one main t- uh, teammate, he was out there with me. He's Georgian. His name's Ito. I can't say his last name, so I don't say it. Yeah. It's I just say Ito the Georgian because He's I don't so want to George. butcher. He, he actually he met up with Marab. All the Georgians, like Georgia's so small. Those guys are all super close. Um, yeah, I, I style wise, I love Marab. Like I love that style that he has. Uh, for some reason, though, I just think he's going to get clipped by O'Malley. Like I watching him get clipped by Marab, uh, by not Marab, Cejudo. watching him get clipped by Cejudo. And then Marlon, yeah. um, I just think that Sean's going to be able to find his chin and, and put him down. I hope that doesn't happen. I really like Marab. I'd love to see him get it done. But I also thought Aljo was going to be a lot more successful than he was. So That's true. Covering that distance is going to be a problem. And then people people underestimate. It's tough. Yeah, people underestimate. Like you've had to deal with guys before in the past where they're long and lanky. That reach makes a huge yeah. difference. And for at 135 yeah. pounds and being like five eleven, or I think is what he is, it's yeah. ridiculous, man. Five eleven. And Sean months. has good. Sean has good jujitsu. Like yeah, he does. Like you, Marab might fuck around and sleep on his jujitsu, put his neck in there, or like get get caught up in maybe even a submission. You there know? you like, go. My my man Josh has been calling for a possible dude. submission by Sean. Yeah, he did it. Ricky, uh, Ricky Simone put put Marab out. You know, you got to remember this, right? The look, those long, skinny arms, they find their way under the chin. Oh, look, I've 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 done a grappling match against Nate Diaz. I've fought Nate Diaz in the fight with him. I had to make sure I did not let my head stay down by his waist or his chest because he's real good at wrapping that guillotine. Yeah, we've seen him before in the past. They just they they're so and they get that like they get that like um. If I had long, I, I can do it because I have like relatively long arms. But they get that front, the front naked choke. Yep. Like if they go deep and do the front naked, there's no getting out of that. Like no. you're you're done. Um, so that would be imagine that though if he submits them. Yep. And, and but, I, it, look, we we use Bet US for our odds here on the podcast, and I think they're at a plus eighteen hundred. So if you thought if you lay a hundred bucks down and you get you take the submission. On Sean O'Malley, it's plus eighteen hundred, I believe, is what yeah, it was. Yeah, that's that'd a be, uh, that'd be that'd be a nice day. That's a pretty so, nice day right there. You're enjoying some I'm, time. I'm going with Sean now. Yeah, <laughs> my farm needs the earth, the air, and the water. I get my energy going on Element Electrolyte Drink Mix. Clean, good tasting energy that feeds me like I feed my plants and animals. And after a long day on the tractor. When it's time to shoot the podcast, I drink elements so that I can stay energized and stay salty. Let's get it on.
Uh, let's go ahead and go with the co-main event, Alexa Grosso and Valentina Shevchenko. They fought for twice third before. Time. For the third time. You know, how do you see this fight going? I mean, I think Valentina is the better overall fighter. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. Um, but, like, it's tough. Like, Alexa is shown in the first fight. Obviously, she beat her. The second fight was relatively close. I haven't watched it in a while. I have to go back and watch it again. But from what I remember, I remember scoring it for Valentina. I could be wrong. I haven't seen it in so long. So It was close. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go with Valentina, though. Um, I think she... She has that much tape on herself and Alexa now. Like she, I think she'll make the adjustments and um, get it done. Neither one has really fought since that fight. Neither one of them no, has no, fought no, since that fight. Yolid. It's not no, neither one has. They yeah, have they, have, they haven't fought <laughs> since that them. fight. Yeah, it's been yeah, a it's long just, time. So I would imagine yeah. they're both going to come out with different different game plans, but they'll they'll yeah. make the adjustments between rounds. Yeah, uh, they're they're on the trajectory of Brian. Uh, Brandon Moreno and um, Figgy and Fi and Figgy, oh, like, yes, it's crazy. Because if imagine if Valentina wins, now they're one, one, and one. Yeah, yeah, and I don't want to really see the fight for the fourth time, man. So I, 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 I don't. I'm rooting right. for Alexa, just so I don't got to right. see it for All a fourth right. time, so the we can quad. just move on. Right. Yeah, right. and if Alexa <laughs> loses it to somebody else, and then Shevchenko comes in and wins it, okay, I'm cool with that. But I don't want to yeah, see it little, for the a little time. a little variety would be nice. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, they're holding up the division. Let's be honest. And then sure. look, lastly, we're gonna go with Brian Ortega versus Diego Lopez. This is a really anticipated fight because they were already kind of scheduled to fight, didn't come to fruition, and um, really comes down to for me. I look at Brian Ortega as being kind of it should have been an even money or maybe even the favorite. But he's an, actually an underdog at plus 145 against Diego Lopez. And what I saw out of Diego Lopez in his last fight, he got a little tired in that last yeah. round against uh, yeah. Dan Ige. What did you see? Am I seeing it right or am I not? You yeah, call me I mean, out, I too. Was, you don't yeah. got to jump on my bandwagon, no, 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 brother. No, I, I, I agree. I, I'm, I'm personally going with Diego Lopez. I, just, I think he's a future superstar. Like My teammate Pat fought him, mm -hmm. and um, Pat is an amazing fighter. And seeing what he was able to he's do He's got to heavy Pat, hands. See when he did the Pat, and then when he did the Sadiq after that, um, I think the Dan Ige fight, like, that's that's so hard. Like, you thought you are fighting somebody else, then mm -hmm. you're fighting Dan Ige, and, like, it's, so, it's, that's that's a tough one. Um, I think that he's going to be able to, like, I think he's going to be able to hurt Brian on, mm -hmm. on the feet. Like, if things get extended, I don't see him getting submitted by Brian on the ground. I don't see Brian, like, nope. Brian doesn't have a... He doesn't have a wrestle heavy style like Mozart did when he beat um when he beat Lopez, but even but that when was he Lopez was beating, coming in on a two day notice, basically. And Lopez is throwing up submissions the entire time. Yeah. So I don't see that, but I think uh, I think he's going to clip him on the feet and probably put put Brian and Brian's cutting back down to forty five. Nobody has put Brian away. What are you saying? What? Are, where are you going, he, Sean Brady? He is putting out interviews that he's already ready to move back up to fifty five. Yeah. So he's like not back, but he wants to move to fifty five. So that weight cut is probably getting to my man. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I'm going Lopez. I'm a. I am on the Lopez train. I think that kid is a fucking superstar. I agree hundred percent. I, agree I think he's a future. Fu he's a future superstar. He can serve me a little bit in that third round. We had our boy yeah, Ian yeah. Parker on uh, yesterday, and he was talking about Brian Ortega. Has kind of feel like he's already checked out at one forty five. He's yep. already looking at one fifty five. Yep. And you know and as well as good. I know, that's not a good sign. No, so I could no. see why the odds have him at plus one forty five, and that kind of changes how I I maybe started to look at my bets now because. I didn't think yeah. of that. I didn't think like, yeah. oh, Brian's. It's not like he's leaving the 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 promotion. He's no, just no, leaving he's the not weight leaving class, the sport, or anything. Yeah. No, he's yeah, he's not checking out like he's retiring. He's not checking out like yeah. he's going to another promotion. Yeah. He's literally just leaving the weight class. I'm like, that's ah, not that big of a deal. It is a big deal because yes. you've already got your eyes set on guys at 155. You know, adjusting and you know how it is huh? when you're in camp and. Your meals start getting real small. Your weight cut starts getting hard. You start like now your training's like you're not even thinking about your training anymore. You're just thinking about cutting the weight. Like I guarantee that's where Brian's at. So um, yeah, and now he's looking at 55. Like damn, that extra 10 pounds looks good. So his eye. Whereas you got Diego Lopez, that kid's a fucking missile, and all he's thinking about is killing whatever's in front of him. So. Yeah, I think it's going to be a good night for him. You know, there's a lot of talk about this young man named Daniel Zellhuber. Uh, have you heard anything on him? What's you get any? He's out of Extreme Couture's, trains yep. with Eric Nixick yep. and those guys. 
you know, um, he's looking to be a real exciting fighter. John likes him a lot. I like what he's been doing. Uh, he's at the lightweight division, but he's a big lightweight. Do you know anything yes. about him? I, I don't know much about him. I do know I'm looking forward to that Manuel Torres and Ignacio Bahamendez fight. That's going to be a crazy one. But yeah, that new kid, I don't know too much about him, but I did see he was that extreme. So there's actually like a lot of guys on this card I'm not super familiar with. What did you see in the Manuel Torres and the Ignacio Bahamendez fight? What did you, what, what, what about those guys uh, intrigued you? Uh, Ignacio has that that crazy wheel kick knockout. He's super flashy on the feet, and then Manuel smoked somebody at his last fight. I forget who it was, but he put him out, put him out bad. So, and I'm actually picking uh, Manuel in that fight. I think that's going to okay. be uh, a, it's Mexican Independence Day. These dudes are going to come out there and swing. So I'm looking for it's going to it's a good card. I'm I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Well, when the la last thing I'm going to leave you with is on this, and then John can follow up if he wants, uh, but. This is the sphere. Big deal, little deal. deal I mean, to, yeah, I mean, this is a big deal, obviously, for the UFC, but I'm saying, like, to you and for everyone at home, I mean, what are you expecting differently from this type, from this fight? Dude, I just was the main event at the Apex. I love the Apex. <laughs> Stick me in the Apex. I don't give a fuck about all the flashy shit. I don't, like, for me, I don't care. I don't know what it's going like. How how are the fighters going to? Like, there's going to be these huge screens. Like, I, like could it affect fights? Like, Pull I really it. don't it's know. It's all screen. Yeah, it's all. Yeah. Let's be honest. You can yeah, look yeah, in yeah. one direction, and it's a crowd. But so other that, than that, so the ceiling and everything else, everything's the just going to. And then, what's it going to be displaying? The fight. The fight. I think. Look, here's what? the thing. Well, can you imagine fighting, and then you look to your right, and there's a fucking ten story fucking yeah. Sean Brady. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I'm or fighting. your opponent. You're like, damn, I just got jabbed by this fucking monster. <laughs> yeah, right. It's a now, ten story fighter. You're gonna get a well, small cut over your eye. You're gonna look up there, and it's yeah, gonna be twelve yeah. feet big. Yeah, it's gonna look like a <laughs> vagina on your forehead. <laughs> Well, maybe that's why they're only doing it once. Plus, I mean, they said it was they're already like thirty million dollars in yeah. debt, or not in debt, but in in spending. I don't know. I really don't know how it's going to play out. Yeah, but, but you got they, they did. It is their biggest gate ever. That's over yeah. twenty four million dollars as far as it because it did sell out. So, I hope for me when I'm watching it on the screen at home that it looks exactly the same. I don't care. Yeah, like. Give me the normal pay per view. Like I am fine with that. I don't think it's going to be any difference, really, for the people like no, us that are watching no. it on TV. I think it's going to basically look the same. You know, yeah, they'll, yeah. they'll give the far away looks, and it'll look cool. But yeah, I think being that's fine. I think being that's there, fine, it'll, it'll, it'd be pretty special. For those, for sure, you it's for those who are going to be there. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for me makes no difference hey guys that's uh sean brady's picks for this weekend's noche fight but then also too if you guys want to see his full show his full episode with us it's going to be on monday it'll drop john sean sean hey man always a pleasure thanks for uh yep. hosting with us today and uh having some yes, fun sir. man Talk always a pleasure site. great picks look forward to seeing you <laughs> thank once you guys. again soon you take care brother